that. That was Wednesday, that's over. There's nothing we can do about any of it now, and all we can do is get ourselves ready for Sunday. So I think the emotion part of it is completely gone, and it's just about uh, physically getting ready to go again and um, tactical game plan and that sort of thing. So I think in terms of the emotion, it is what it is. The game's over. Um, not much we can do about it now, though there are a number of things we probably would like to change about it. I mean, it has to be, and it's been kind of the mentality of this team, and the team is built on the strength of the entire team. And um, when we've had to make changes in the past, if you look at the last couple of years, we've certainly been able to maintain our level of play, and uh, that's the goal once again. And again, it, it, it's part of what this team was designed to do, is to be able to have interchangeable pieces. And um, you know, next person, next couple guys just have to come in and do the job. They have a lot of really good players. They have a lot of really, really good players. And you know, again, one of the ways that we deal with teams like them is collectively how we play, mm -hmm. uh, collectively how we defend, and then what we do with the ball. The more we have the ball, the less their good players have the ball. So uh, it's a number of different things that go into it, but it's a, it does come down to a good collective effort. Yeah. Uh, you mark him. Mark him really well. <laughs> you mark him. You mark him on both sides. You see if you can play with 12 rather than 11. Um, no, he's the type of player that um, you know. Every team loves to have a player like this. A guy who really needs three chances to score or four chances to score three goals. Uh, that sort of thing. And he's just he's such a sniper, and he's so dangerous. He doesn't waste opportunities that you know a lot of it has to do with how we mark him and how how can we deny him service things like that certainly we've had an up and down season so far uh, as i've said we're it's not like we're terrible but we've not been great but we do f have the comfort of being at home uh, when we're at home we we play well our fans energize us um you know definitely is a place that's been good to us and in a time when when you want you're looking for things to really spark the team's confidence, having a home game is certainly a good thing. It's engagement, concentration, it's every day in training, uh, treating every moment in training like it's the most important game in the MLS Cup. Yeah. Uh, and I think when you train that way, you're consistently dialed in, and it's something that we've we've been really good at at times. But you just said the word consistency. Uh, you look at Saturday, I thought we were excellent against LAFC in spite of some other people's opinions. Um, I thought we were excellent, and then uh, I thought that level of engagement was not exactly the same. Kansas City presented a different challenge than LAFC did, and uh, I don't think we handled that as well. So when you talk about consistency, it's this consistency of engagement, because every game's going to be different, every team's going to be different, things are going to be changed, there are going to be nuances that are different. But the only thing that you can absolutely control is your level of engagement from the very beginning of the game. And then with that level of engagement, you probably make better and better decisions.